Hello friends, Beth with Thimble Hooks. Thanks for stopping by today. You know, the other day, somebody asked me, what's the difference between yarn over and yarn under? Is there much of a difference? And I went, huh, I don't think I've ever shared that with anybody before. And instead of writing down the explanation, I thought I would show it because there is a big difference between yarn over and yarn under. And I'm going to show you the difference right now. So if you see anything in a pattern somewhere that says yarn over or yarn under, you're going to know what the difference is. These two swatches right here were made with the same Red Heart Super Saver, like super obnoxiously bright pink, which is one of my favorites. These two were made with the same yarn and the same hook, but as you can see, they are not the same size because one is yarn over and one is yarn under. The difference is even more drastic when this piece starts getting a little bit bigger same amount of stitches this way, same amount of rows this way, but look at the difference. We've already lost a lot of space here from the edges. Very big difference. So if you were making a blanket and you were using yarn under instead of yarn over, your blanket is going to be drastically narrower. I'm going to show you the difference between a yarn over and a yarn under and how to kind of compensate for that if you wanted to use the yarn over technique but you still don't want your piece to get really, really tiny. I'm going to show you how to fix that too. So here we started here, just with normal chains. This one was a five millimeter, my five millimeter prim and yarn over. And this is a five millimeter prim right here with yarn under. So everybody knows, probably knows how to do a yarn over. And this is just single crochet. So we're going to make a slip knot on our five millimeter hook. So I'm going to chain out nine. Or ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we'll just do normal old single crochets that everybody probably knows. You put your hook through, the yarn over, your hook, pull through, yarn over, your hook, pull through. Go through your stitch, yarn over your hook, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, yarn over. Yarn over yarn over. So the yarn is over the hook. Get it? Yarn is over your hook. Yarn over, yarn over, yarn over. So that's just a normal piece right there. We're going to take this apart and start over again with a new chain of 10 and I will show you how to yarn under. It's really easy. It's just a different way of bringing your yarn through and but you can see how drastically it can change your piece. So let's just chain 10, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Remember we were like this, but now we're going to yarn under, which means we're going to go through our stitch over the top of our yarn, grab it, pull through this way, and do that same thing again. Go over your yarn and pull it through. So we'll do that one more time. Take our, go over our yarn and pull it through, and over our yarn and pull it through. Hook through our stitch, go over our yarn, grab it, pull it through, and do the same thing again. Grab it, pull it through. This is a yarn under, because the yarn is under your hook. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that do this. This is the way that they make their stitches. But most people learn how to yarn over. So we are just doing yarn under this time. Oops, and I almost did it. And there's my last stitch. Yarn under. The yarn is under my hook. Pull it through. You can see those stitches are a little bit tighter. Not drastically different, but they do look a little bit different and they're definitely tighter stitches. They are much more narrow. You can see the difference here. Bigger, smaller, same hook, same yarn. All right, so we'll chain one and turn. And I will do that one more time. So we want, the yarn will always be under your hook before you bring it through. So there's my yarn under, pull through, yarn under, and pull through. In the next stitch, the same. Yarn under, pull through, yarn under, pull through. The yarn is under my hook, yarn under, 
both times pull through. And that is as simple as it is. There's nothing crazy fancy about it. It's just a different way of bringing your yarn through it, but it changes your size so much so much that I thought it was kind of important to actually show it on the screen since I had someone ask me that last week and writing down the explanation seemed silly when I can show you in just a couple of minutes. And here is my last stitch. And one more time. And there we go. My stitches are much more tight. Now on this set, this piece, I had a little bit of this red laying around so I thought I would use it because I always seem to use a lot of pink. I thought I would use red today. This is the same hook, this five millimeter hook here with my Red Heart with Love. This one is yarn over and this one is yarn under. It's almost the same width. It's really close to being the same width. But I had to jump up to a six in order to get this to happen. I have a six millimeter hook right here for this one. I use this little or hook to make this piece and I use this hook to make this piece. The easiest way to compensate for that, if you want to start using yarn under because you like the tighter stitches and instead of redoing all of the math for whatever you're making, just jump up a hook size or maybe a hook and a half, five millimeter to a six millimeter and I came pretty darn close. So if you're making a big old blanket, if you wanted to make a king size blanket and you use yarn under, your measurements are not going to come out right. But you notice that they are the right height. So if you were trying to make a square, they're pretty close to being the same height. You won't lose nearly as much this way, but you will lose a lot this way. So if you see yarn over, that's kind of the typical way that most people learn how to, how to do a single crochet. But if it says yarn under, you're going to end up getting a piece that's smaller and there's probably a reason that they're saying yarn under. So you just might want to read through your pattern and make sure all of your dimensions are going to be right. So there's your quick tip. Fun Saturday itty bitty little project just learning how to do a yarn under. Pretty simple, huh? But I've been working on a lot of things that you're going to start seeing next week. A lot of new cool projects. I have so many patterns that are in the works right now. I have to <laughs> I have to spend my weekend trying to get everything finalized so I can share them all with you. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye. Probably should figure out how to do a giveaway too because I would like to do that. <laughs>